<laughs> you know, it's actually, it's actually a, 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 you know, really something really funny that keeps happening when I make these videos. Man, you know, I, I, I've said that, uh, you know, that that out of ten Americans, five to about seven of them are brain dead fucks. And and, and I said a couple of days that uh, a couple of days ago that uh, that that brain dead fucks, uh, you know, are keep getting used by the spirit to make my points for me. So in e in essence, brain dead fucks are actually spiritual crisis actors. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> but um, but uh, but the reason why I just wanted to make a point uh, right now is because uh, I got off I got off the dart train and and I see uh, one of the dart employees. She's wearing a uh, she's wearing a Jamaican flag mask, right? And uh, and I go up to her and I ask her, um, you know, uh, is is, is that just your regular mask? Are you from Jamaica, or are you wearing that in protest to today? Which, you know, uh, I have to ask because I literally just talked about this subject two, two minutes ago, okay? And like I said, uh, we have a lot more information at, at our disposal as to, as to our story. And of course, uh, well not of course, because I, I, I really truly wanted to know. Uh, she goes, no, this is just my flag. And I, oh, I, oh, I go, Oh really? Are uh, you from Jamaica? And she says yes. And then and then I go, and I go. Well, um, do you know the history of St. Patrick's St. Patrick's Day? And then she goes, Oh, I don't really care. Get what I'm saying? That's exactly the point. Now, now of course, I'm not gonna blame her on that one. She has an excuse because you know when we think I Ireland, we think like redheaded stepchild motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like so the average the average black person that still believes that all of us are from Africa. Um, they shouldn't care. You know, five, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, I didn't care either. You know, like I said, I used to use, just use this day to fucking just go around with a bottle of vodka, uh, being underage, being able to fucking chug it all on the street and not give a fuck. I used to use, that's what I used to use this day for. But when I, when I got older and I started realizing that man, all of world history is a fucking lie. And then I end up telling her what actually St. Patrick's, St. Patrick's Day should mean for black people. I told her, well, hey man, uh, 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 you know, uh, that Jamaican flag, what that represents is that, uh, is that, is that when they, when they say that, that St. Patrick kicked out the sermons out of Ireland, what they really mean is, is that the Catholic church came in and, and genocided the black folks that was there and sent the rest of them into exile in Ireland and Haiti and, uh, 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 you know, uh, North Africa, uh, places in America, places in South America. And see, that's just the thing. Like I told you in the previous video that I just saw, that I just saw, 30, 40, 50 years from now, our children and grandchildren will be learning a vastly different curriculum when it comes to our story than what we inherited. So what that means is that black people, when you say shit that, that uh, shit, shit like, uh, I don't really care when it comes to it comes to history. Well, you know what, that's a perfect excuse and you have a very good point when it comes to the lies that we were inherited for the last 50, 100 years. But when it comes to now being information age, they're, for, they're fucking far the problem. 